We have natural challenges, which is weather and climate, and we have uh, other natural uh, challenges, which is, can be disease and parasites. And then you have this unnatural stress, which is the anthropogenic stress, which is what we humans make, which could be disturbance like noise and, uh, and settlements. Uh, but also, but also pollution, which is new, new uh, challenges for, for these uh, animals. We're trying to monitor the pollution levels in the, in the sea eagles, because we know that they are on the top of their food chain, so, so they have very high levels of, of, uh, of the, the persistent pollutants. The old pollutants that we know are dangerous, they are being banned, like PCBs, and we can see that they are gradually also... Uh, uh, the levels are, are sinking in, 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 the, in nature, but then we have new pollutants coming in, which could be uh, substances made for mobile phones or clothing or, uh, and stuff that we don't know. They are built to be persistent, they are built to, be, to, to not be uh, degradable. And if they then have, have uh, bi-effects on, 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 uh, on the natural systems, then they can become a problem in the future, because we know that they can't be uh, degraded. This is large animals. They uh, live in, a, in an environment where they are well adapted, and they are. Uh, and for the white-tailed eagles, they are big, large animals, which is hard to handle. So we can't uh, catch the adult birds. But when we look at them, we can look at the chicks and the eggs, and we can see that uh, the 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 young of these birds, they are. Uh, kind of a blueprint of their parents because the, 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 the poisons or the, the, the pollution that the, the adult birds get, they also the, they pass on to, um, to the chicks, to their young. It's very exciting. It's, uh, they are magnificent birds. They are uh, really powerful birds and they are not, not that common. So it's a, it's a, and it's a privilege to be able to to hold them in your hands and to, to actually work with them, it is. It's useful because you, you can uh, monitor the system in a, in a nice way to know what, what, uh, what uh, pollutants are common, wh which new pollutants are coming into the system and which old pollutants are gradually b uh, going down. And it's a nice way to also be able to, to manage the populations of, of these uh, magnificent birds that, are, that could be threatened by pollutants.